Let me share with you a tricky question we see on the test more and more often. To prepare a sample file for an employee training session, you need to generate unique text for each student in the class using Microsoft Word. What is the best way to do it? And you're presented with five different options. Choice A. Use Word formula. Choice B. Copy and paste. Choice C. Auto text and building blocks. Choice D. Auto correct. And last but not least, choice E, mail merge. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Tricky question, don't you think so? Well, I think I know what my answer is going to be, so I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. To answer this question, let's analyze all the options to understand why they might be incorrect. Let's start by looking at option B, copy and paste. It is true that you can generate new text by copying content from another document or another source, for example, website or another Word document, and then pasting it into your Word document. You can use Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste. However, this option is not ideal for generating unique text for each student and may pose copyright issues. I think option C, auto text and building blocks, is also incorrect. Microsoft Word has a feature called Auto Text. It is also called Building Blocks in the new versions. And this feature allows you to store and insert frequently used text or context snippets with just a few clicks. While it can be convenient for inserting predefined text, it does not generate unique text for each student. Choice D, AutoCorrect, is also not a good choice. AutoCorrect is the feature that corrects common misspellings and can be used to create shortcuts for longer phrases. But unfortunately, it does not generate unique text for each student. I think mail merge is also incorrect. Mail merge is useful for generating customized documents by merging data from spreadsheet or database into predefined templates. However, it's not suitable for generating unique text for each student for the training session. Which brings us to option A, use Word formula. Microsoft Word has a formula called RAND and if you type it and hit enter, by default it will generate five paragraphs of three sentences each. This cool feature is also called placeholder text. The generated text is localized for your language selection. What's interesting is that the text is localized for your language selection on your computer. To customize your text, you type RAND and enter number of paragraphs and number of sentences and then hit enter. For example, if you type RAND 7, 5, it will generate the text for 7 paragraphs with 5 sentences each. You can also use lorem function to generate non-localized pseudo-Latin text in Microsoft Word.